What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel for another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Jack, and this channel essentially follows me on the restoration of my great-grandfather's 100-acre mountaintop property here in the Appalachian Mountains of Virginia, as well as following me on my hunting, fishing, and outdoor adventures with some catch and cook, storytelling, and diving along the way while trying to keep a faith-based center to everything that I'm doing. So if this is content that interests y'all, please go ahead and subscribe and uh, join us in this journey. So I just want to stop for a second and acknowledge how efficient that intro was. If this is your first time here, I am terrible at doing intros. So what are we doing today? Um, so the story goes that last time I was out here on the property doing work, a big old tree had fallen and gone right down the middle of the bridge and crushed the gate. Now, while that really wouldn't be that big of a problem because uh, it didn't damage the bridge, it is really convenient trying to get across there with a big old tree in the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to get down there and I'm going to throw together a time lapse of me getting that tree out of there. Um, I'm not really sure what happened to the other half of the tree. It looked like it broke in half and I can't find the other half of the tree, which is kind of like, uh, doesn't really make any sense because it's not in the creek. Um, so we're gonna get that out of the way. And then while we're doing that, I actually got an addition for the fishing portion of this channel. And I tried to pick something that people would sort of want to see in a way. Um, so I went on Amazon and tried to pick out the, the cheapest and most, uh, I guess, well put together crawfish trap that I could find. And um, it looks pretty sweet. So hopefully it'll go well. And I've never actually caught any crawfish out of this creek. So we're gonna see if we can get th that rolling. Um, and then once we get done with that, we're gonna push down to the end of the bottom field. And we're gonna go try to uh, clean up around that black walnut tree that we've been working around and try to get all the briars and the saplings and all that pulled out of there so that we can get a ground blind put in there for turkey. And then as well as adding a uh, tree stand into that area so that next season we can actually deer hunt out of there. So that's the plan. I guess the next time y'all see me, I'll be down there next to the creek. So um, stick around and I will, uh, I'll see y'all then. All right, y'all, so obviously we are down here at the bridge. Um, as you can see back behind me, this is the gate, or what was the gate. Um, the This stream, I know it looks sort of stagnant right now, but you can, you can might be able to see a little bit of movement back over this way. But when, when the water gets up, it starts ripping through here pretty hard. And uh, I guess the creek just undercut this tree, knocking this one down and knocking all those down. And then it decided to, I guess this one, just died and broke in half and then the top split and fell back off this direction and uh, made a massive gate so um i guess the plan here is i'm gonna go ahead and unbox that uh that crawfish trap and get it in the water we're baiting it with some uh <laughs> some leftover trout that really needed to be tossed out but uh i decided what better way to i guess get rid of it and try to reuse it so get that in the water unbox the new chaps that i have get this thing all cut up moved up out of the way um, hopefully that won't be too difficult and uh, then we'll head on down to the other side of the field so that's pretty much the plan let's get to it all right y'all so the setup that we're using today for catching crawfish I, I tried to find something that was relatively cheap and pretty durable and looked like it would 
be worth the buy for anybody that wanted to try to get a hold of a portable um, crawfish trap. Uh, so this is the Drasery. I know it's a whole lot of consonants in there, but this is the Drasery. Um, I don't even, I guess it's a net or a cage. I don't really know, but uh, it looked to be a pretty good product. So I went ahead and purchased it on Amazon. I'll try to post a link to it down in the description. It comes like this. It's pretty small, pretty portable. I wanted to get something that I could just take and chuck in my bag when I'm going fishing and, and be able to utilize in a really easy manner. So this is basically the way that it comes. Um, you pull these two uh, red latches, they pop off. If I can make that happen and not look like an idiot, boom. And then this is the cage that it comes out of. So basically, if y'all have never seen a crawfish trap before, which I doubt that is the case, um, they come through here and they come down into here to come get the bait. And then when they try to crawl back out, there is no way back out. So that is the setup for this. Um, it, uh, it comes with some nylon rope to toss it out with and then a little bait bag, which I thought was really pretty cool because I've never actually used a bait bag before. I've always just taken it and chucked it inside the cage and hoped that that would work. But um, the bait that we're running with, I don't know if I already said this, I'm sure that I did, but I had some leftover trout and sauteed onions that uh, needed to be canned anyway. So I figured what better way to, uh, to get rid of them than to just reuse them and chuck them inside of a uh, uh, whoo, crawfish trap. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in there. Oh, that is slimy. This should have, yeah, this is, uh, this should, <laughs> this should have been gotten rid of a while ago. I'm sure I'm gonna have to sort of speed this up in somehow, some way. Oh, I'm gonna tangle this. Oh, I'm tightening it now. Oh, Lord. I went and messed it up. All right, y'all, so I finally got <laughs> I got that situation uh, straightened out. Um, I just tied the loop knot on there, ran it back through, um, and we got that all straightened out. So basically what I'm going to do is how you get the crawfish out of this or whatever you end up catching, which there's probably going to be some little tiny fish in there. This red part of the trap actually opens up so you can get your hands in here or you can just dump them straight out. Um, I got the craw crawfish. I got the bait here. I'm going to do, uh, do a loop knot on this. And um, this won't actually cinch down on itself. And hopefully I can make this happen again without looking like too much of an idiot. But y'all know how good I am at that. So um, we'll see how this actually goes. I'm telling you, this trout actually smells so good that I really... Um, have been contemplating eating it, but I brought snacks so that I wouldn't be foolish and do that. All right, so I tried to put, pick a portion of the creek that looked like it was uh, crawfishy. <laughs> um, so I'm actually going to go right down here. We got some roots that are sitting here, um, so they like to hide up underneath cover. There's not too many rocks here, and there doesn't look like there's going to be too many branches for me to get this thing stuck on them. All right, y'all, another big shout out to my grandmother <laughs> for buying me chainsaw chaps. So these are Forrester long length apron style chainsaw chaps. Um, we're gonna get them out of the package and get to use them. I've had them since Christmas um, and I've forgotten them three times because I do really dumb things in a really efficient manner. And um, they've just, they've sat inside of my room and here we are, we're finally using them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's get these things out and uh, we'll get them on and get to rolling. All right, so it took a second to get everything all prepped up and ready to go, but we got the chaps on. Um, we got, I got this little steel MS-170. Um, it's like a 12 and a half inch bar, but the thing will work. And um, so yeah, so let's just go ahead and get to, to running and get everything rolling. I was just sitting here praising the face shield and the hearing protection and I got over there and was just so focused on trying to knock this stuff out I didn't even flip it down so, so let's get back into it
All right, y'all, so a slight change to the plan. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I uh, recently retired from playing football about three months ago. I don't want to get too deep into that because I kind of just want to stick to the task that we have on hand right now. Um, but in doing that, I decided that I wanted to let my body rest and not really beat it up at all. So I stopped working out and I took about a three month um, rest period just to let my body regenerate and rejuvenate, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this week was the first week that I got back to working out. And uh, yesterday was the first time that I started squatting and my legs are shot and there's nothing that sounds worse to me right now than trying to walk about a quarter mile down this field with all of my power equipment and tangling with all my cameras and all that good stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is just try to stay local up here. I'm gonna try to get some of this cleaned up and I'm gonna try to get this bridge cleared all the way out on the other side because as you can see that tree on the other side also fell and so the next time that we get the uh dr brush cutter back out here on the property that we can just run it straight out into the field and get to work um and for those of you who are new to the channel we had a brand new dr brush cutter out here on the property the thing is an absolute beast um and if you are interested in seeing that video it will be down below on my page i'm gonna be totally can with you i have no clue how to tag a video in this so <laughs> if i can figure it out i'll do it but other than that you're just gonna have to find it yourself it is on my page though um so what i'm gonna end up doing is trying to get this um, cleaned up and out of here so we can just get straight out into that field off the bridge and then from right there where that branch sticks up I think there should be some pretty good wood in there to cut Kellyanne a um, to cut her a cutting board because she's always wanted a live wood cutting board and so I think this might be a great opportunity with this tree that's down right here um, to get that done for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get to working on it. I think I'm gonna start out with the uh, cutting board because that's something that I think will make Kellyanne pretty happy because I kind of made her mad today. I'm sorry, Kellyanne. Um, <laughs> but all right, whatever, I'm rambling at this point. So let's just get to work. so I can show you all this. So I was really hoping with this branch coming off like this that there'd be some pretty sweet growth rings in it, which I was right, but unfortunately because the tree fell the way that it did, it cracked it right down the middle. Um, but you know, y'all can see that, you know, even just from this, you can see the, the uh, ring here from that branch. And then you can see another ring here from the core of the tree. But this is going to be a pretty sweet piece, but, um, you know, that's just the way it goes, I guess. So, so I'm really liking these chaps, except for one thing. You know, there's a pocket. Oh, good Lord, there's mosquitoes out here already. This is going to be bad summer. This pocket is so small, you just about can't use it for anything. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to redneck rig this. So I think what I'm going to do, mind you, this hatchet does need to be machined. But I think that I'm gonna rig this to where that I can actually just put my hatchet right here on my thigh so that I always have it on me. I'm just gonna cut a hole down here in the bottom. See if we can get this rolling. I don't wanna cut through though. So we're gonna have to do something like this. And uh, when I get home, I think I'm gonna burn this hole so that it stays Uniform. Look at that. Boom. That works. She'll play. All right. Let's get back to it. All right, y'all. I lied to you once again. We are going full send on trying to get Kelly on a cutting board here. Um, when you're doing this, basically all the knots in a tree in woodworking is, is where branches and different types of contouring on the outside of a tree are. And so an area like this, 
which I just found this tree, um, that has a branch here, it has a knot there, it has another branch coming off here, another branch coming off on the other side. They have really pretty wood on the inside. And so that's basically what I'm looking for when I'm looking for, um, you know, something, something like this. So hopefully this one's not cracked because it's cracked here. Um, but that knot that is potentially right here is going to be um, beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this done. And it's basically going to carry us to the end of the day because the sun, as you can see, is setting much quicker than I anticipated it doing. So it's about, nah, I don't know. It's probably, it's 4.30. I sort of set five earlier. So if this one doesn't work, we're going to move to that one. I mean, why would anything ever work the way that I wanted it to? That would just make too much sense. Luckily, I did learn my lesson before, and I started bringing Chainsaw Tool out here. Um, if y'all haven't seen that video, uh, yeah, the, the possibility that I'm going to be able to link that in here. Very, very slim. <laughs> just being realistic. So, so all we're going to do is we're going to loosen these nuts up. I don't actually know what these are. That's like a bar tensioner or something like that. Basically, it just keeps you from being able to loosen the bar up. I'm actually going to pop it all the way off to make sure that I didn't injure anything on the inside of the, uh, on the inside of the chainsaw. No, just looks like it wanted to hop off. So, as we learned in the first time that I did this, you want to make sure, absolutely that the chain is on in the correct direction. <laughs> So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is the bottom land. It goes up and around that corner and runs for probably, I don't know, a quarter mile along the river. Um, beautiful piece of land. It's really gray and dead and all that right now, but in the summertime, it's just absolutely beautiful out here. This one's got a pretty substantial amount of rot inside of it, even though it's got some pretty rings. As you can see, all through here, this is all, that's all rot. Um, and so that's stuff that would have to be pulled off of here. And while it might be pretty at the moment, you know, that's just not, that's just not kosher. And as you uh, chip away at that, you're basically going to lose your board. All right, so my plan is I'm gonna hop back over here on the tree and I'm gonna try to pull a portion out of this section of the tree right here. Um, it looks like it was sort of elevated up off the ground. So I'm kind of hoping that there wasn't much rot going on into it. And it doesn't even look like there's much rot on 
the tree itself, even looking at this portion right here, but this was the, the knot that was sitting on the ground um, up underneath the tree and taking all the moisture in and all that. So, I mean, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's actually air sitting up underneath here. So let's see, let's see if there's rot further on down the tree. Right in the middle of all that, she cut off, run her out of gas, um, and I figured I might as well slip her a little bar oil while we're over here. And we're almost done ripping this, um, and then we'll get out of here, because quite frankly, with everything that's happened, we have run out of daylight. So let's get back over there. I'm sure this is some type of rot, but it looks kind of cool, so I'm just going to leave it, but look at that. Hopefully, God willing, this will get me out of the doghouse. <laughs> Let's see the other side. I don't know which side I like better. This one has cleaner saw marks on it. Not that she's going to let me get by without... Uh, sand on this thing and making it look pretty. I'm not trying to put too much wood on this just because it's or water on this just because it's so so dry. I don't want this thing to pop but I'm 
man that came out well that is awesome all right y'all so it's just about 5 30 right now sun still hasn't quite dropped down so let's uh let's check this out hopefully we got some on here but my hopes are not too high absolutely nothing but we did catch a minnow be free and it fell in the water all right y'all so i know that today didn't go the way that i had originally planned for it too but i do still see this being a pretty productive day considering that we got the bridge all cleared off and then we got some work done on the other side there is still a lot of work that needs to be done with this and then you know cleaning up the trees that have fallen on the other side but you know the day will come for all that stuff to get done and today is just not that day because i'm running out of daylight and i need to get out of here as i said before um but guys if you're still sitting here and you're watching this video and you enjoyed the content go ahead and smash that thumbs up button hit the subscribe maybe turn on the bell notification share this video with a friend all that good stuff really helps out the channel um so that's gonna be it for me here on the appalachian farmhand channel today come and join me again next time